What is up guys? It's Mailbox Monday and hey it's Mailbox Monday so you're wondering why a lot of this stuff is already open and I'm gonna explain that. I went to a convention yesterday not yesterday Saturday Midwest Hunters Convention in Columbus uh, had a bunch of friends going so I decided to make a trip up there it's only like an hour away so um, it was pretty fun uh, last year was not fun at all but I went on a Sunday so I was real skeptical about this year, decided to go on Saturday, take the day off and go up there, and uh, it was actually a blast, um, and I met some new friends, I met some old friends, I got some cool stuff, so I'm going to show you what was gifted to me there, um, and also I got this Herbie earlier this week from Mike Covert, but that was a purchase, so I'm going to do a separate video on him, just kind of do like the history of Herbies, since I have two of them, uh, and show you guys the difference in those. First up, Jordan Hendricks. She was a mutual, or uh, she was a friend of Michelle Gore, Michelle Moore Gore, sorry, on Instagram, and uh, she uh, came up with like the inspiration for the Nomad idea. So uh, yeah, she's cool. She gifted me this Ghost VIP candle from the meet and greets on this uh, previous like Black to the Future Part Two tour. Um, so I got this sick candle, and then this VIP. Uh, poster, which we'll definitely need framed, so that stuff is pretty cool, I didn't even get a chance to really actually look at it yet, signed by Papa, signed by the ghouls up there at the top, so yeah, I appreciate that Jordan, oh fuck, she gave me some Slipknot socks too, I forgot to bring them down here, I'm sorry, so I set these over here, as well, at Midwest Hunters Convention, Greg from Creature Revenge Studios gave me this Lon Chaney clown. This is the Proto Paint Up, so this was like the first copy, just to see how they wanted it to look, see how everything worked. Um, it's slightly oversized, uh, maybe not for people that are um, larger than a child, like uh, not me. So yeah, there's that. Um, it's pretty sick. This is the kind of clown that I like. I know I've said it before on these episodes, but uh, just simple. It's supposed to look like a clown. No blood, no fucking fangs or anything like that. So that that is from Creature Revenge. These are, don't quote me on this, I think they're under 60. I don't know after shipping or whatever, um, but you guys need to go pick one up because they are well worth it. Um, just quality stuff. I really enjoy Creature Revenge stuff. And then on to the P.O. Box stuff. Um, this says it is from Pringle, so Pringle from Burbank, California, let's see what Pringle sent me, I'm scared, oh here we go, yeah yeah yeah, I know what this is. This is uh, some like limited run uh, odorous stickers. It says hail odorous or drowning dicks. And I fully agree with that statement. I'm going to put that on the, uh, the little sticker shelf case thing there. We got some uh, G made out of organs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Cool. I forgot, uh, forgot I had that coming. Okay, now on to this. This is from Joey Comerford. Comerford. God, that sounded fucking Ohio as shit. Comerford. This is from Comerford. Joey Comerford. I think. That's how you spell it. It's a little uh, beat up or whatever, but it came from the Irish Republic, so that's probably to be expected. Damn, dude. Let's put a lot of stuff in here. It smells good, too. We have a Slipknot hoodie from back in the day. That's the back of it, actually. This is the front. Nothing will ever beat that group shot right there, that album cover. That is the greatest album cover of all time. This smells good, man. Got a little uh, crush on your scent. No homo. We've got 50 Cent 
book from pieces to weight. That's funny. Huh. We've got a little uh, collage of uh, like Jason and Manson and Corey and Freddie and stuff like that. And then on the back it says, oh wait. Okay, just want to make sure there was no more. On the back it says, hey bro, hope you like my stuff, your pal Joey. And there's like a little Sid Wilson cat drawing. I do enjoy this stuff so far. The hoodie is awesome and the 50 cent thing is funny. We got a little Murder Dolls booklet and it looks like a piece of it fell off. We've got a Metal Hammer issue dealing with uh, what well, looks like a shit ton of Marilyn Manson on it. wonder if there's any Slipknot in there. It says Stone Sour on the front, so I don't see why there wouldn't be like a little mention of Slipknot or something in there. You know how it goes. We've got another metal hammer with Joey and Chris and Paul. Yep, Joey and Chris and Paul. And uh, I think I have this already, but uh, yeah, it never hurts to have one more. There it is. I've been getting really into uh, like the volume three looks. Um, someone's sculpting the uh, the Joey volume three, and I'm actually pretty excited for it. And then I don't even know what this is. I think I see. Uh, hang on. I think I see tech decks. I could be wrong. I don't know if you guys know this. I have a fucking massive tech deck collection. See. I'm gonna get something to open this up. Okay. Get some figures in here. Oh shit. We got Loomis in the building. I don't even know what that is. People are gonna be pissed because I don't know what that is. It's some sort of comic book thing, I'm sure. He looks cool though. His fucking mask reminds me of Mushroom Head. I don't know how well you guys can see it. He won't stand up by himself, so we'll hang on. Damn! That is awesome, dude. That's a Tony Hawk Birdhouse board that was in, it was like the starter board or whatever for uh, the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. That is radical. I'm stoked on that. It's probably my favorite thing of the day so far. <laughs> Alright, we got uh, this little Leatherface fella. What appears to be like a like the first style Jason with the fucking potato sack thing on his head. Those guys are cool. They're not good skateboarders though. And then I'm assuming this is for this guy. You can set him up. There you go. Hell yeah. Well, thanks, Joey. That was a nice little package, man. There was some, some cool stuff in there. I really want this guy to set up. So there we go. And then what? We'll throw this guy around. Lay him right there. How's that? Okay, last one for today. This is from another repeat sender, my buddy Joey Romero. I'm sure that you guys are following him on Instagram right now because I have given him enough shout outs for you to know that he is the shit. And, fun fact, he is the next person to receive Nomad, hopefully today. We'll see. I'm not sure what his uh, schedule is. He's out west, I believe, in like, yeah, Colorado. So he's a little bit behind my time, <clears throat> but we'll see. Hopefully he gets him because I, I think he's going to do wonderful things. So this is cool. If this doesn't make you think that Nomad's going to turn out cool, then there's something wrong with your brain because this is, uh, it's kind of ironic because I see Hillary Clinton as a clown pretty much this entire, all politics. Politicians are clowns. So, he took a Hillary mask and actually turned it into somewhat of a classic, uh, like a classical looking clown. I think it's creepy as shit. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on that. Get your hat moving around. I'll prop that back up right there. I think it's badass. I think it, uh, it'll make a cool display piece. I think it's, once again, a creepy clown. No blood, no fangs, nothing, uh, Outrageous, no pointy chin. 
And uh, I think it's way cooler than any of those, like, uh, lame clowns, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if there's, like, a, like a word for them, that type of clown. Um, stupid, maybe? Yeah, we'll just call them stupid. Stupid clowns. So, yeah, this is, uh, this has been a good episode, I believe. There's lots of cool stuff in here, so I'm going to lay it all out, um, show you guys a wrap-up, and, uh... I appreciate everybody that sent in, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, cool episode. I'm pretty stoked on this stuff. Well, if you guys would like to send something in, as always, the address is in the description below. It is also on uh, in my Instagram bio. And yeah, this is cool. I didn't uh, didn't know if we were gonna do an episode or not, but a lot of stuff showed up today. Um, some has been coming from the like later in la later last week and got here today so yeah i will uh, do a run through on this i'm also going to post a herbie video later kind of give you guys a history of herbie said it before say it again i appreciate you guys for mailing in and if you guys would like to send one in address is there uh so yeah hopefully we we'll see you next monday and uh